What's up guys, Sean Enux here. I'm gonna show you all how to make a DIY bearing cleaner at home. What you'll need is you'll need a bolt. Um, this one's 13 centimeters. You'll need a washer, a wing nut, an O-ring, a pen, a uh, little pin to pop the, the cases off your bearings. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a little flathead screwdriver for good measure, and you're gonna need a bottle. This kind of looks like a little juice bottle, but um, I bought this from like a little arts and crafts store. So I'm gonna use this because it's gonna be able to fit the bolt and the bearings are gonna be able to fit through the, the circumference, I believe, of the bottle. What you'll also need is, you'll need like a little plastic cup to throw your cases in while the, while the bearings are cleaning. All right, so first step, what you guys need to do first, grab your little bottle. I've got a drill bit set here, so I'm just gonna pick. I'm probably gonna start off with a smaller gauge to kind of initially put a hole in and then I'm gonna step up to a bigger gauge to put the bigger hole in to fit the bolt. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna drill a hole in top of the bottle and hopefully I can get it center. I'm just gonna eyeball this guy, so bear with me. Oh, there we go, we're through. So that's the initial hole I've just put in. Um, if you guys can see, I've just put a hole in the top. I'm gonna put a bigger gauge drill bit in to be able to clear this big boy here. Yeah, so my bearings are absolutely filthy. Um, as you guys can see, I've been skating the slab a lot and it's like a really dirty, crusty, concrete type place. So if you guys wanna check out the videos of the build, the link is in the description for our other playlist for DIY Diaries, go and check it out. Guaranteed you'll be satisfied with the amount of building to skate ratio. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna drill a bigger hole now. Oh, we're through. I might even have to go bigger to be honest. Yeah, you can always start small and then drill bigger and bigger, but if you start drilling massive straight away, you can't really go backwards from this. You want it to be a tight fit, but you don't want it to kind of shatter up the plastic. So, it seems like it's going in. This is why that screwdriver comes in handy. You get in there and give it a little, a little one-two with a screwy. Open it up a bit more. All right, I think we're through almost. Once you've punched through the other side, what you want to do is you want to grab your washer, chuck it onto the bolt, so that'll sit on top, and then you want to kind of get this guy in here. Ugh. I've got a bunch of other um, little DIY ideas. Not DIY skate, but like DIY skateboard hack stuff coming along, so make sure you guys subscribe if you're new here. And uh, turn on post notifications if you wanna if you wanna be my best friend. And then you grab your little black O-ring here. I'm not sure what size it is, but it's very small. Probably can't see it on the camera. You wanna pop that on the end of your your um, bolt here, and then you just wanna kind of put it all the way down to the end here, so it sits up against the back of the. Uh, inside of the bottle cap, I should say. It's all in there. You wanna take your pen, just any pen laying around the house, not like a click pen, but like just any traditional pen like this, and we're gonna pull it apart. Take the cap off, pull this out, pull the ink out, and then pretty much you're gonna grab your scissors, and then you're just gonna cut. Hope this doesn't shatter. <laughs> Kind of shattered a bit. All right, so the pen shattered. My original idea was to cut up the pen and make little spaces. You know when you buy new bearings and they come with spaces to put in between the bearings, but I don't think it's gonna matter that much because I'm gonna take the um, cases off anyway. So you're gonna take your little pin, your little chalkboard pin here, and then you wanna ever so gently kind of get along the side of the bearing and pop it out, pop the cases out. Um, I could have just bought new bearings to be honest, but these are my first set of Bronsons and they're uh, the G2s and I bought them from Overcast Skate at Temecula. So shout out to Overcast Skate at Temecula. If you guys are from Riverside County or even San Diego County, it's worth the drive down or up, depending on where you are. Go down to the shop, check it out, buy something, support your local skate shop. But yeah, um, I wanted to keep these bearings because I, they're my first set of Bronsons. Um, and the difference between these G2s and Bones Reds, these have way more torque. You can push a couple of times and then um, 
your board's gonna keep rolling longer than if you had a pair of reds. I've been skating reds for years, but um, yeah, I've just swapped over to Bronson's. I do wanna get a pair of G3s, they're just like 60 bucks, and uh, I don't really wanna, you know, I'm trying to skate on a budget here, guys. What kind of bearings are you guys riding right now? Let me know in the comment section below. I just wanna get a rough idea of what kind of bearings people skate. When you're popping your shields off, guys, try not to um, massacre the shield too much like what I'm doing here. You wanna be quite delicate with it. As you can see, I popped all my shields into this little plastic cup here. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. I've got my raw bearings here, the G2s. I'm just gonna slide them on to this bolt right here. I guess you could use bearing spaces if you, if you use them in your wheels. I don't, so um, I'm just gonna put these guys on without any space in between. But since the shields are off, the uh, mineral turpentine should move in between the bearings pretty, pretty soundly. So I'm gonna pop my wing nut on the end here. Screw that on. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of leeway here. The bearings can bounce back and forward. You wanna get your mineral turpentine or your acetone, like I said. Couldn't find any acetone at Bunnings, so I'm just gonna use this mineral turpentine. Should do the same thing. You wanna pop a bit in here. Probably like, I don't know, a third of the way maybe. That's probably a bit extreme to be honest, but once you've got your uh, cleaning solution in this plastic bottle here, you take your bearings that you've just loaded up onto the bolt, pop them in, screw it down, and then what you want to do is give it a shake. And as you shake it, I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, look how filthy that mineral turpentine is getting. I, haven't, I bought these bearings almost a year ago now, and uh, yeah, I haven't cleaned them once. Once you've given it a good enough shake, you'll probably pop them out. If you guys can see the little ball bearings and stuff in there, they're a lot shinier now than what they were. You can take this and you can have a quick swig if you want. <laughs> Don't do that, you'll, you'll probably go blind or something. While these are kind of drying, per se, you got your shields here. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of turpentine into here. Just a little bit, just enough to kind of submerge, semi-submerge the cases. And then as well, you wanna give your little cup or container, you wanna give it a little, a little swindle, a little shake. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but you can already see how much cleaner the cases are getting just from being in this, uh, mineral turpentine. If you guys are lucky enough to have a bit of paper towel on deck, um, take a few sheets, probably put one to the side, you can take two of them, fold them in half, and then now what you want to do is, you want to take your little flathead screwdriver here, and you just want to kind of fish out the cases, you don't want to pour them out onto the paper towel because all the rest of that liquid will come with them, so you want to just take your time to grab out your cases, um, just like this. You wanna grab your uh, other bit of paper towel, just pick them up one by one, and just give them a kind of a once over with a paper towel like that. So yeah, once you guys have got all your cases um, cleaned and put to the side, it's time to go back to your bearings. You wanna take your little thingy majig, you wanna undo the wing nut, two slices of paper towel, and then, yeah, you just want to go through each one and give them a good little uh, once over with the paper towel. Pretty much now, you've got your bearings all nice and clean, um, and you've got your cases all nice and clean also. You want to grab your lubricant, um, probably another bit of paper towel actually, so make sure you have a paper towel on deck if you're lucky enough to have a paper towel on deck. You want to take your uh, lubricant here. You want to take your bearing, you want to take a bit of this lube, and then you kind of just want to go around um, and just, you know, put a few drops in, give it a spin, really allow the lubricant to kind of penetrate into the ball bearings. So you want to do that, give it a little bit of a spin a few times, pop that to the side, move on to the next one. So once all your bearings are nice and lubed up, um, the next step is going to be cleaning the excess off it. So if you've given it a spin, there's gonna be um, a lot of lube being thrown out, so you just wanna wipe off the excess. 
All right, once you guys have done that, grab a bearing, grab a case, and just start popping them back in. It doesn't take much effort. Um, you definitely want to put the right side out, so they'll be riding on the outside of your cases, generally, anyway. And um, all it takes is just a little push like that. It'll click in, you'll know when it clicks in. So you guys just want to go through and put your cases back onto your bearings. So once you've done that, guys, that's pretty much it. It's not that big of a process. Um, there's a few key elements that you need to remember. Like you definitely need to remember to wipe down your bearings once they come out of the cleaner because you don't want to have all of this dirty, rotten filth on your bearings. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. I'm going to do a few more of these, so make sure you're staying tuned. <laughs> if you're new here, subscribe as well. But yeah, I'm going to do a few more of these. So make sure you guys get keen to uh, get some skateboard maintenance underway. And make sure you guys go over and check out my DIY Diaries playlist. That wraps it up for me today here guys. I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Drop a comment below if it was. Drop a comment below if it wasn't. Until next time guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch all of you all in the next video.